Hello. Welcome to Dreaded Hermit Tarot. If you are a new member, please hit the subscribe button. Please like this video. I feel like liking the videos kind of like raises the whole vibrations and stuff. And it also gives other people on YouTube, you know, that look for tarot readings, it gives them the opportunity to see the, the reading, okay? Um, so liking the videos really helps others see the video, okay? And it helps them get their message out, okay? So <clears throat> help other people out. Not just me, but help other people out by liking this video, okay? Especially if it resonates, okay? So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What is going on with you guys? I don't know why. Okay, just as I thought of the song. Okay, nothing is yet set in stone just came out, okay? But... As I'm doing the reading and as I was like shuffling for a car to come out, I'm looking outside and the song in my head just popped up. It just popped up. Okay. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. I don't know who sings that song. Who sings that song? I don't know why, like, it just came up in my head as I'm doing, like, a reading for Virgo, for Virgos, for you guys, okay? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. That's, like, the only part of the song that I'm hearing. So I kind of almost feel like for some of us, uh, of us Virgos, I feel like some of us may have had to hit rock bottom in order to get a good understanding and view of what is going on. Like maybe we had to go through some type of tower moment in order for us to see things for how they really truly are. I don't know. I don't know why I just heard that song in my head. Conclusions are within reach. Maybe you're going to start seeing things clearly. Hmm. Give me one more for Virgo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Angel Spirits, guys, please take me to the white light of tarot and protect me of any and all things evil and negative. Please give me clear, honest messages for Virgos. Thank you. Meditate and contemplate. Maybe some of you guys need to get out in the rain. Like maybe you guys need to cleanse yourself, Virgo. I'm I'm looking out my window. Like I like like when I'm I like to sit in my son's room. Or even in my room when I do a reading on my bed and I like to look out the window. I kind of I, 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 I kind of see it as like scrying. I'm kind of scrying and like hearing downloads as like. But yeah, that song came up in my head. And the message on the bottom, your hard work is paying off. Nothing is yet set in stone. Conclusions are within reach. And meditate and contemplate so maybe you guys need to go outside like if it's raining where you live and like if it starts raining maybe you need to go outside um, and just like let the rain like really hit you you know or maybe you guys need to use the rain to cleanse your stones and crystals okay just be careful not to get certain ones wet okay cuz some of them cannot get wet Okay, they will dissolve. Okay, it's usually the stones that end with ITE. Okay, like I know uh, selenite cannot get wet, kyanite cannot get wet. Um, 
certain ones. Melashites cannot get wet. I'm trying to think of other ones. But yeah, I know certain stones are not supposed to get wet because they will either rust or they will dissolve and uh, they will get damaged. Okay, so, but yeah. Uh, maybe some of, some of you guys are some of us Virgos. Maybe we need to, um, you know, get outside, go outside in the rain and cleanse our soul, our aura, okay? Uh, raise our vibrations. I just saw the moon right now, so maybe some of us need to go out at night when it's raining or if it is raining and um, cleanse, okay? Cleanse our soul, cleanse our energy, stuff like that. Okay, Virgo. Um, yes. I hope you Virgos are doing good. All right. So let's get into this. What is going on with Virgo? Tell me about Virgo. I don't know if I'm feeling these ones or I don't know. I don't know what de what which deck I should start with first. All right. Which deck to start with first? I'm not filling these right now. I'm not filling these. I'm going to start with my holographic ones. All right. Angel spirits, guys, what can you tell me about Virgos? Yeah, these feel better. All right. Thank you. All right. Tell me about Virgo spirit. Tell me about Virgo. What is going on with Virgo? What can you tell me about Virgo? What is Virgo going through right now? What's going on with Virgo and just spirits, guides? Give me one second, guys. Sorry about that, you guys. I forgot that I had my coffee. And my son, like, came by the door and reminded me, Mommy, your coffee. Okay, um... So we get the Knight of Wands, okay, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and then the Ace of Cups in the reverse. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let me get one more. Ooh, okay, that came out. Um, ooh, okay. And then we get the Eight of Wands. This is, again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then on the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Pentacles. So... This is definitely Virgo energy here, but this is also some type of energy of like hard work, somebody working hard, somebody wanting to work on something. But I feel like this is kind of like Virgo, like I feel like this is kind of telling me that that was some type of missed opportunity, okay? That was some type of missed opportunity, but I feel like now... Virgo, either you or somebody from the past, you know, this missed opportunity. I feel like either you are like on your little horse with your knight, you know, you're a knight on a horse with your wand, and you are like racing your ass down to wherever it is that you need to go or doing whatever it is that you need to do. You're trying to turn this missed opportunity upside the fuck down, okay? There's some type of messages, you know, coming back and forth in regards to possibly working things out, okay? This was on the bottom of the deck, and then we get the Page of Pentacles, okay? This is, you know, um, the Page of Pentacles is like, you're kind of lost in thought, you're working hard, you're lost in thought, you know, you're, 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 you're focused on some type of knowledge, okay, you know, and this can be definitely in regards to somebody from your past, okay, Virgo, either somebody from your past is messaging you, okay, but there's some type of idea here, okay, somebody from your past has like an idea, or you have some type of idea, okay, this can be somebody that you have kids with or that you want to have kids with. This can be somebody that, you know, um, is a mom. Virgo, you can be a mom. I'm a mom, okay? And then um, 
somebody is like in their head okay somebody is in their head virgo okay up at night stressed possibly about stability money family okay there was some type of heartbreak okay there was some type of heartbreak okay in in some type of like relationship a very very committed relationship here I'm not even, I'm not even, like, spirit doesn't even have to tell me what's going on. I'm already intuitively reading the cards that are in the deck. But, but, but spirit, like, I'm just getting the downloads. So somebody is like, you know, sad, like, there's some type of sadness here, okay? But there was some type of, like, all of this happiness, all of this happiness came to an end because some type of heartbreak the heartbreak was caused by possibly a lack of effort okay there was some type of lack, lack of effort um somebody was constantly possibly working okay and always tired somebody was possibly left out in the cold there was too much stress here in the relationship or something okay um and then we get the knight of pentacles this is slow Okay, this is like slow energy. So yeah, there was like a lack of effort. Somebody felt kind of left out in the cold. There was a lot of stress. Uh, there was too much focusing on stress. Very slow moving energy. Okay, Virgos, this can be with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Okay, so I'm going to start clarifying these, but this is like, like that's what I'm seeing. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. I'm definitely going to start clarifying these, okay? But I really feel like for some of, of us Virgos, I feel like, you know, some of us are trying to, you know, um, either have a reconciliation or like, re like, like some of us are trying to redo a missed opportunity. Okay, with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, there was definitely some type of missed opportunity or something. Yeah, could be a false start or an unfulfilling relationship. Take off the rose-colored glasses and see things as they are. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, that was a false start. So I feel like in the beginning, like things didn't work out. Like that was a situation that just didn't really work out. And it's crazy because I saw the Ten of Pentacles and I remember talking about the Ten of Pentacles. And there's Ten of Pentacles here. So um, this could have been something with family. And then again, I get the Queen of Cups. So Virgos. Some of, us, some of you Virgos can be definitely dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces because I keep seeing Cancer, I keep seeing like the Queen of, I, I see the Queen of Cups. And then now I see the Queen of Swords. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But yes, Virgos, some of you guys can be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. All right, Angel Spirits, guys, please clarify the cards that are on this spread please so the knight of wands is kind of about like you know a fiery passionate energy um this is i'm not gonna lie it's like player energy okay and and this is also like this is also nothing is set in stone Nothing is set in stone, and this is with the Knight of Rods. So I kind of feel like this is saying that, like, nothing is set in stone, as in, like, this person cannot commit. Commit. This person will not set commitment in stone. Because this is kind of like player, playerette energy, guy or girl, okay? But this is somebody that kind of, like, comes and goes, you know, they ghost you, okay? They come in passionately, but then they, like, leave just as fast as they came in. Okay. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. 
me about the Knight of Wands or Virgil's skirt. Thank you. The Empress. Tell me more. Somebody can't be pregnant. Tell me more. Or trying to get pregnant. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is kind of like... um. I kind of feel like this is like um this kind of reminds me of like a a a battle without victory. Okay. This is kind of like unfinished business, possibly like some type of unfinished business. Um Seven of Swords. Some type of like, I'm getting like some type of like unfinished business or something. Seven of Swords. Get out, please, get out, please, get out, please, get out, please, get out, please. All right, sorry about that. So, the Seven of Swords. Um, a figure flees with five swords while leaving two behind. Your efforts will be partly successful. This talks about like, like they're needing, like somebody needing a new plan. And this talks about like not letting fantasies interrupt you. Okay. Um, I kind of already like see where this is going. Okay. I kind of feel like this is kind of saying like don't like somebody's going to come in very passionate, very hot, okay? And it's going to be kind of distracting, but I feel like right here these two are saying um the empress is like a mom, a mother, a nurturer, somebody that, you know, holds the house down, okay? So I kind of feel like somebody's coming in to just like kind of party maybe want some booty call or whatever but i feel like this is telling me and you not to let this person coming in with this like little wand okay i call it the penis wand because it represents the malphalic the you know what creates babies okay so i call it the penis wand but yeah somebody's gonna try to come in with the penis wand okay i don't care if you're gay lesbian straight whatever okay but somebody Okay, somebody, either a guy, female, whatever, male, female, is going to try to come in passionately and, like, spirit is telling you, like, not to let this person distract you. It's okay to have fun, have fun, but just don't let this person distract you. Don't let these fantasies distract you from what it is that you are. And what it is that you need to do. Because remember, you're the empress. You're the empress. If you got kids, don't let this person take time away from your kids. If you got a job, don't let this person mess up your work, your career. Okay? Okay, Virgos. I'm going to get one more. Let me get one more to clarify the... Let me get one more to clarify the Knight of Wands. You already know Virgos. Like, it's kind of like, you know, this is a perfect desolation, everything. Like, it's said and done. King of Cups. Definitely Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Hmm. Because right here we have nothing, nothing is yet set in stone. But then here it's like this is a perfect desolation. Like everything is kind of done. Major changes are on the way and resistance is futile. A path clears itself, giving way to something new.
what is this Ten of Swords about? For Virgo, what is this Ten of Swords about? What is this Ten of Swords about? So when I hear major changes are on the way, okay, major changes are on the way, and resistance is futile. So that means that like this is really hard to kind of like resist this. It's It might be hard to resist, but we get the three of cups. The three of cups is kind of about like celebration, partying, and stuff like that. Tell me more. Thank you. Five of Pentacles and then the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like, oh, okay. So I feel like, Virgos, some of you guys or some of us were going through some type of tower moment, okay? Some of us were or are going through some type of tower moment and this can be like related to family this can relate it to this can be related like family this can be family issues okay this can be family related this can be family related this can be about like abundance this can be about home okay but Clarifying the Ten of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and then the Five of Pentacles goes to the Ten of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like major changes are on the way and resistance is futile. A path clears itself, giving way to something new. So I kind of feel like some type of like shocking good 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 tower is going to hit something good and i feel like you're going to end up celebrating going from the five of pentacles okay being stressed out feeling broke feeling left out feeling broke struggling Okay, and then you're going to go to the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords about? Clarify the Seven of Swords, Spirit. Why is the Seven of Swords here? me about the seven of swords okay the knight of wands in the reverse and then the page of swords in the upright okay let me get one more let me get one more to clarify the seven of swords the tower the tower Heartbreak on the bottom. Give me one second, guys. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Um, when I clarify the, when I clarified the seven of swords, um, the knight of wands came out in the reverse. So the knight of wands came out in the reverse, and then the page of swords, and then the tower. So either you are the person that you're dealing with is kind of like in this energy of like being scared to fully commit or fully come in full throttle because this person kind of fears that um virgo either you are the person that you're dealing with virgos you guys can be the type of person that picks fights or like somebody picks fights, okay? 
Somebody here may be a little bit sensitive, okay? They're like very sensitive and they get heated very easily. But the Knight of Wands in the reverse, okay? So the Knight of Wands in the reverse. You lack focus and change course in midstream. So this can be somebody that is just kind of like in and out, okay? This can also be player energy, okay? Somebody that just like... The relationship could be totally going fine, but like one little thing that just irritates them, okay? And they're just kind of like, no, I don't want to be with this person anymore. I'm going to ghost them, okay? That's the type of person that I'm talking about. That's very in and out and changes midstream, okay? Often departing impetuously, okay? If you're quick to anger and tend to pick fights with people around you. So, yeah, either, either somebody here picks fights with people around them or this person is just the type of person that would just get up and leave. Okay? And this is something that I've been going through. I'm not going to lie. So, Virgo, some of you guys may be going through the same same thing, dealing with somebody that keeps coming back and forth in and out of your life. Um, and then the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords can kind of indicate, like, quick thinking, spying, trouble with the police. But this is also somebody that's like ready for action. So, okay. So when I see, when I see this, okay. When I see that, okay. Okay. Talking about picking fights with somebody. This person is ready for action. And then we get the tower. I feel like somebody is just already ready to pick fights. Somebody likes to pick fights or somebody want is going to just like somebody is just going to come in Virgo. Someone's going to come in very passionately, you know, wanting all of this stuff, you know, that they want in their life. They're going to try to like come in and get it. But then there's going to be like some stupid, you know, little argument or something. Someone's going to pick a fight. I feel like somebody's going to pick a fight. Or this can be a reason why nothing is yet set in stone. This can be why somebody is not with the person that they want to be with. This can be what caused a missed opportunity. Okay, some type of missed opportunity. It could have been these arguments. It could have been somebody that was, you know, constantly picking fights. Okay, it could have been somebody that was very slow, you know. With the Knight of Wands in the reverse, with this being somebody that, you know, just kind of like you know, randomly just, you know, kind of ghosts people. Okay. I'm getting that energy. I also see the five of pentacles and this also talks about leaving people out in the cold. Okay. So Virgo, some of you guys could have been left out in the cold. Okay. And somebody may be wanting to come back and, you know, reconcile things. Okay. But some of you guys are kind of iffy about it. And some of you guys are kind of in this, you know, seven of swords energy you know kind of like no like i don't know i gotta focus you know i don't want you know things are going good right now i don't want you to come in and you know like screw things up again and this person is probably just like no i'm not gonna do that let's just talk through this you know let's party let's relax tell me about the empress The star and the chariot. Tell me more. Tell me more. Oof. Okay. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's Aquarius energy here. When I when I clarified the Empress, um, there's a lot. Uh, there's when I clarified the Empress. Okay, um, there is Aquarius energy here. Okay, Aquarius, you know, and Cancer. There's Aquarius and Cancer energy, but this is about like. 
this can either be about an Aquarius trying to like, you know, take action and move towards you if you're a mom. Okay, Virgo, if you're a mom, um, this can be about somebody wanting to move forward and take action and have kids, but they're kind of scared. Okay. They can be kind of nervous and scared of like stress, um, you know, money issues. They can be scared of the energy, you know, that I saw earlier with the, um, with the Knight of Wands, like fights, they can be nervous, but I feel like somebody is like taking some type of action or somebody needs to take action towards somebody. Someone's trying to come in. Okay. And let me just say this, Virgos, uh, some of you guys might have options. Okay. Some of you guys might have some type of option. People are probably, you know, coming in passionately, you know, People are, are coming in passionately, you know, and you're a mom, you know, you're the empress, you know, some people may find you very att attractive, Virgo, okay, but somebody, somebody here is trying to like move forward with you. Somebody's trying to move forward with you. They're either trying to move forward with you or they're trying to like move away from you or travel away from you. Because the chariot is all about like travel, cars. Uh, it's about moving forward and finding balance as well. The star card talks about like, you know, hope, wishing on a star. Um, this is also Aquarius energy. Okay, so why is, why is the star here? Yeah, it's kind of like this star is making some, like he's, he's out of, this star is either making a decision to have a new beginning with the Empress, can be the mother of his kids, you guys can have kids together, okay, or this can be about, you know, you, Virgo, hoping to have this like new beginning with an Aquarius. And move forward with this Aquarius. Wanting this Aquarius person to be passionate and take action towards you. I don't know why I'm getting this, Virgo, but I feel like there's two people that want you. There's more than one person that wants you. You're dealing with multiple people here. That want you. That are very passionate about you, Virgo. There's more than one person here, Virgo, that's like in love with you and wants you. But I'm seeing this as like somebody is is making a decision to be with somebody else and like offer them stability. Okay. Somebody is offering, someone is offering, either you're offering, you know, either somebody's offering you stability or you're offering them stability. Tell me more about the star. Yeah. Whoever this is, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Virgos, this person sees you as like the Queen of Pentacles. This person is is it this person is possibly making the decision to give you their stability, to move forward with you. This person may also be wanting to give you a car or buy a new car. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. Yes. Virgo. Virgo. This is the hermit. This person wants to move forward with you, Virgo, and offer you stability, love. 
You are the Empress. Virgos, we are the Empress. Yes, the High Priestess. Intuition. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Messages. These messages that I'm giving to you. Wow, intuitive. Thank you, Spirit. All right, what about this Eight of Swords? What is this action about? This is about needing to take some type of action. Uh, the Emperor is here. So we got the Empress to the Emperor. And this is all about like a new cycle. Ending one cycle to start another. Okay. Taking action. So somebody, so Virgo, somebody is coming in and they're taking some type of action. Like I feel like this person is like wanting to like claim you. This person doesn't want nobody else to have you, Virgo. <sighs> what is this? Tell me about this Eight of Swords anymore. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. This man is holding on with his feet, his hands, even his damn head. Virgo, this person is not letting you go. This emperor, whoever this is, is not letting you go. Yeah, this person is going to fight for you now. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, Virgo, somebody is going to start fighting with you. Not fighting with you, but fighting for you. I feel like somebody's going to start fighting for you. Somebody's finally starting to see your worth, possibly. You're thirsty? Okay. You want a water bottle? Yeah. All right. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, you guys, um, somebody here is definitely like not letting you go. Like somebody is like madly in love with you. Um, yeah, somebody's like very passionate. Somebody here is very passionate about you, Virgo. Are you're very passionate about them. Tell me about the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay, and this is right underneath. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, so let's find out like why there was a missed opportunity. What is this Ace of Cups in the reverse about? Page of Pentacles. Tell me more. King of Pentacles. This could be about somebody wanting to explore um, their options when, when it comes to career. Somebody was possibly looking for work, job, uh, something like that. Tell me more about the ace. The lovers. Okay. Let me see. So it's kind of like there may have been a missed opportunity because of somebody's ideas and possibly even their perception of like work or how they worked, their idea. Because there's the Page of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Magician. Okay. Okay. Under the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So the Page of Pentacles is about somebody like thirsty for knowledge or something. So somebody could have gone back to school. Somebody could have started a new job. And that could have been what kind of like messed up the relationship. Let me see. What is this about? Yeah, you guys, I feel like um, some of you guys may have started a job, okay, 
Virgos, some of you guys could have started something and then there was like a false start. Okay, sorry, that's my son. But this is also about like, this is an unfulfilling relationship or it may have been unfulfilling because that was a lack of money, that was a lack of stability, that was a lack of ideas. There was a lack of magic in the relationship even, possibly. And Gemini energy is here also, Virgo. Because this is Virgo Gemini energy. And then we get the lovers on the bottom. Somebody could have been more focused on work. Like somebody, all of their ideas and focus could have been on work. And that could have been another reason why that was some type of false start in a relationship. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Card down. Okay, so there's some type of stagnation. Okay. Clarifying the page of pentacles. Okay, so somebody is lost in thought. Searching for some type of knowledge. Okay, in regard, like somebody is obsessively, obsessively thinking. Okay. Obsessively thinking. Why did you leave? Why did you walk away? Or somebody walked away from this toxicity. Either somebody walked away from something that was toxic or somebody is obsessively thinking and wondering. Because this is clarifying the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles. Give me a second. Give me a second. Sorry about that. I had to kind of like scold my son because he was being too loud. But yeah, so, and then we also get the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups in the reverse, the devil, which is Capricorn energy. And then we get the Eight of Cups. Hangman on the bottom. So the page of pentacles is, is like, someone is lost in thought and obsessively thinking about why somebody left. Or somebody just walked away and turned their back on this toxic shit. Okay. This could have been a codependent relationship. Somebody can be codependent. Okay. But the Nine of Cups is in the reverse. Yeah, this is about like... Okay. Um, errors. Okay, so. Errors are obstacles stand in the way of success. Don't allow an excess of confidence to blind you to the truth. Okay, so. This can possibly be what caused, um, I feel like the one obstacle that really got in the way of this relationship. Somebody could have been just like obsessed with work. Obsessed with work. Obsessed with work. Somebody could have just been obsessed with work. Obsessed with work. Like all of their thoughts and ideas could have just been about work. I just, I, I don't know why I just heard this, but I also heard, um, I also just heard black magic because I am seeing the pentacles here. 
the page of pentacles the king of pentacles which talks about like work and then we get the magician here and then when i'm clarifying the page of pentacles i see the nine of cups the devil and this somebody could have walked away from a relationship because somebody was doing dark magic or somebody thought somebody was doing dark magic um like just toxic ideas why is a devil here why is a devil energy here why is a devil energy here Oh yeah. Yeah. So somebody, okay. So now, now. Okay, so yeah, somebody definitely decided to leave that situation, okay? Somebody decided to leave this like toxic lifestyle that that messed up this relationship that like somebody walked away from. Okay, so this person that was in this toxic energy, it could have been a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could have been you, okay? But somebody decided to walk away and end things, okay? And uh, decided to possibly even work on themselves. Or somebody walked away so that way, you know, this toxic person could work on themselves and, you know, do the shadow work and have a new beginning spiritually and walk away from what no longer serves them what no longer serves them this this no longer serves them okay so virgo this kind of all has to ugh. karmic relationship i just heard that this is a karmic relationship. This relationship happened to you, Virgo, to us, Virgo, to even me, Virgo, to teach us a fucking lesson. To see our value. To see, you know, our toxic habits even. Shadow work. To see what we're doing wrong. You know, and, and you know, to see what no longer serves us. You know, this, this, this relationship was karmic to teach us a lesson, to teach us, you know, how to set boundaries, how to say no, you know, that's what I'm getting here. Tell me about the eight of rods. What are these messages about? Nine of pentacles. So you can be getting messages from either a Virgo or you can be, you Virgo can be messaging somebody. But this is about a woman who is, a baby, 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 baby. Jesus Christ, my kids keep interrupting. Sorry about that, you guys. My my kids keep coming in and they keep interrupting me, interrupting me over the littlest things. Like their toys. Um, coming in to tell me, look, mommy, this is broken. Look, mommy, I don't know what happened to this. Um, so yeah, so Virgos, either you, Virgo, are messaging somebody or somebody's messaging you. But this is a woman who is single, independent. She doesn't have to be single. Does not have to be single. But you can... This is a woman who is very, you know, beautiful, feeling good, looking good, okay? This can be you, Virgo, okay? Because this is a Virgo energy, okay? Tell me more about this. What is this about? Thank you. The Fool. So, it seems like somebody, okay. So, somebody could have either contemplated and med meditated Oh, and this is new moon in Pisces. This is so funny. Because something similar happened to me. But yeah, so somebody may have meditated and contemplated on whether or not to message you. And this person took a leap of faith and they did message you. What is this about? The three of... The three of wands this is about like waiting for your ships to come in your ship go 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 to the bathroom 
So, give me a second. Oh my God, you guys, this is like the life of the Empress, okay? Like, my kids, like, one e top using the bathroom, one e top getting something to drink, like, yeah, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I am the Empress, okay. Okay, I'm proud of you, thank you. Okay, put your plate in the sink. Thank you. Okay. So, Virgos, either somebody has been contemplating messaging you or you have been contemplating messaging them. But somebody here is going to take the leap of faith and somebody's ships are going to come in. You're going to get that message. Either you're going to get that message or they're going to get that message. Either you're going to give that message out or you're going to get that message. You're going to receive a message. You're going to get a message from somebody, Virgo. I know I did. I got the shocking message, okay? Somebody took a leap of faith and finally messaged me. So, Virgo, I feel like somebody is going to message you. And it's crazy because we have New Moon in Pisces here. And to my surprise, the person that, the person that shockingly messaged me... was a Pisces and I was not expecting it all right um tell me about the nine of pentacles that wanted to come out two of cups somebody is feeling you Virgo King of Wands, this is fire energy. Like somebody is like feeling you. They're passionate about you, Virgo. Or you're passionate about them. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is it here? Four of Swords is here. This talks about like rest. Rest. This can also be pressure. So we have the Four of Swords and then we get the Three of Pentacles. So is is this person, can this person be feeling pressured to communicate? Or is this about like resting? like resting um this can also be about somebody you know i feel like this also has to do with just like relaxing and taking time away from life's pressure okay tell me more about the nine of pentacles and then we get the six of pentacles so this talks about some type of gift. Yeah, like somebody wants to give passionately or something. And it's crazy because like earlier here, I was seeing things like the Ten of Pentacles. And this talks about stability. I saw the Ace of Pentacles of Virgos. And this talks about somebody offering you like a gift or something. There's like some somebody's gonna possibly give you something or offer you something. Let me see the full. Clarify the full. Why is the full here? Why is the full here? Okay. Yeah, so somebody is heartbroken or there was like some type of heartbreak here. But somebody is coming in very passionately now and offering love. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. 
Tell me about the Knight of Cups. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. The Seven of Cups. That has to do with um, like thoughts, illusions, fantasies, possibly manifesting. Tell me more. The Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more. Yeah, this is about like, you know, somebody, you know, after a heartbreak, you know, somebody, you know, coming in, you know, thinking about, you know, working things out. Okay. Thinking of working things out. Okay. Somebody is taking a leap of faith in regards to, you know, rekindling, you know, balance. Somebody here, Virgo, that possibly broke your heart in the past wants to work things out again but why is the seven of cups here because this can talk about like confusion delusions um stuff like that why is the seven of cups here messages somebody is confused about messages and then the four of wands is here this has to do with like marriage Tell me more about the seven of, tell me more about the seven of cups. Five of rods. Tell me more. Uh, and the queen of swords. Okay. And then the Ten of Rods. Okay, you guys. So do you remember when I was saying that some of you guys might be dealing with more than one person? Um, I'm picking it up strongly that some of you guys... Uh, like, this this can be like a very specific message for some of you guys, Virgos. But Virgos. Virgos, Virgos. I feel like a majority of you are a very small majority, okay? This can be a very, very, very specific message, okay, for you, Virgo. But Virgo, some of you guys are dealing with more than one person, okay? Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Okay? I'm also seeing a lot of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I'm seeing water, air, and fire. A lot. In this. But I feel like, you know, Virgo, if you are dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, I feel like this person wants to come in and make things right. Um... And kind of work on their wrongs. But I feel like there's somebody that's going to cause some type of fight. Okay. Um, I feel like there's going to be some like type of strifey words. Okay. The Queen of Swords is somebody that, you know, has a sharp tongue. But there's some type of conversation here. There's some type of communication here that's going to cause a fight. Okay. And it can cause some type of confusion. There's going to be some type of confusion here. In regards to like communicating. And it's possibly going to cause a fight. But this can also be about learning. Okay. Because the five of rods can be about like. It can be about learning and training. Or it can be about fighting. So what is this five of rods about what is this five of rods about car down ace of swords this is totally gemini libra aquarius energy yeah there's some type of fighting that's going on communication that's going on in regards to like a new beginning or an ending tell me more about the five of rods
the hangman, stagnation, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more about the five of rods, give me one more. Yeah. So Virgos, you can be in a relationship with somebody right now. It can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <coughs> and there can be some communication coming in. Shocking message from somebody from the past. Wanting to rekindle things, a friendship, whatever. And... These messages that you're getting from this past person can possibly be having this, if you're with or dealing with an Aquarius, the messages that you're receiving from a past person is really going to cause a fight, some type of conflict possibly. Because somebody right here is like guarded and like it's causing some type of like stagnation. Like they paused. Like there's some type of pause here. This Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I'm saying this because the Queen of Swords. There's no gender in tarot. But Virgo, some of you guys can be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, and they're upset that a past person is talking to you. And because of that, this person is just kind of like guarded. This person is like, come at me. Try. This person is just hanging upside down, stagnant, waiting, guarded for something. What advice do you have for Virgo regarding this situation? King of Swords. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell me more. What advice do you have for Virgos regarding this situation? I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with multiple people. I feel like more than one person wants you. You're dealing, I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a new person and a past person that's trying to come back. Give me more for advice. Tell me more. Give me one more, Spirit. Give me one more. Strength on the bottom. So, advice. The King of Swords, the Sun, and then the Heartbreak, the Three of Swords. So... With the King of Swords being here, this is like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I'm also getting strong Leo because the Sun is Leo and this is Leo, okay? But this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here again. The King of Swords. Um, this King of Swords. So I feel like the advice is kind of like... Um, there's some type of action here that somebody is taking, okay? But somebody is definitely pausing, okay? Like I said, this, this Gemini Libra Aquarius is on pause. This Gemini Libra Aquarius, the King of Swords is primed for action, his weapon ready. Remember when I said that? He's like, come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Wow. He is highly analytical, often pursuing a career in law or publishing. His leadership is unquestioned. Okay. But then we get the sun here. So. And then we get this. Why is the heartbreak here? I don't get that. Clarify the king of swords. 
Why is the King of Swords here for advice? What is this about? I feel like this is like, like, you know, be happy with your Aquarius or like your Aquarius finds you happy after this heartbreak or something or like go be happy with this. I don't know. What is this about? Clarify the King of Swords. Balance. Juggling. Tell me more. Page of Swords. Page of Cups. Tell me more about the King of Swords. Tell me more. Tell me more. Ooh, that fell. Yeah, this is about... Um, yeah, this is totally about, like, you know, finding balance, okay? Balance things out with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? Balance things out and find happiness after this heartbreak. Stop crying over spilt milk. That's your advice. And this is your reading, Virgo. But Virgos, y'all got options. Us Virgos have options, okay? Um, and the person that is really, truly in love with us and actually doing something about it, like working their ass and busting their ass to prove how much they love us, they are pissed. They are pissed. They are kind of somewhat worried and they are analyzing what's going on because they are aware that somebody is coming back around. And this person can possibly be toxic and no good for them or for you, okay? But yeah, Virgo, somebody is like not really happy and they're like possibly not saying it or they're going to communicate it to you and just let you know like, look, I'm not really happy with so-and-so talking to you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. All I know is that people are coming towards you, Virgo. Like, you have, a, there's a lot of energy coming towards you. There was a lot of pages in your reading, Virgo. And pages is like people coming towards you, okay? Either like with a message, um, a gift, love, whatever, okay? But there's something, you know, happening here, okay? Let me get three more Moonology cards. A new romantic cycle begins. Tell me two more for Virgo, please. Before we close out, to close these myths. Oh, thank you. Have faith in your dreams. One more, please. Let me get one more for Virgo. Let me get one more message for Virgo spirit, please. That's a chop. Let me get one more. Thank you. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Again. Full moon in Pisces. And then this one is Libra. So we get new moon in Libra and full moon in Pisces. And on the bottom of the deck, emotions are running high. So Virgo, a new romantic cycle is about to begin. Have faith in your dreams and balance out spirituality and practicality. Yeah, something 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 new is there is like happening. There's something new, okay? But Virgo, this is your guys' reading and I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, share if this resonates, okay? Okay, okay. Um but this is your message. Bye-bye, Virgos. Okay. And remember the song that I was like listening to or I heard. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Maybe there's like an obstacle in your way that's like preventing you from like moving forward with the person that you love. I don't know. But... Virgo, you guys got to figure this out, okay? Like the card says, 
meditate and contemplate and balance out spirituality and practicality, okay? I feel like there's some type of conclusion that's going to like come into reach, you know? You're going to see things clearly, okay? Someone's going to help you see clearly. Someone or something is going to help you see clearly. Okay, Virgo? But this is your reading. Ciao!